Hey everybody, welcome back to MoFro's Reef. I'm Wayne, and today I'm going to go over a little bit of my lighting options. I have the Aqua Illumination Hydra 52 HDs, and about a year and a half ago, I bought a PAR meter. It's made by Biotech Marine. Looks a little something like this. It's just a little wand, 15 foot cord, and a USB port. You can plug this into a desktop, a laptop, a tablet, anything with a USB port. Download their software and you're good to go. And that pretty much cut about 70% of the price out of the Apogee handheld PAR meter because the software's all ran right on your, your device. And I think I bought this about a year and a half ago. I paid maybe $150 for it. You really don't need them. But you really want to get your stuff dialed in. It's nice to have. All right, so let's go over some power readings here. I'm gonna start off right at the top, right underneath these lights here. Get right underneath the center of one of these pucks. About 2,900 power. Okay, now I'm gonna go right in the center of the tank here, about an inch under the water. About 250 par. Now I'm going to take it and put it right underneath the water, right underneath one of the lights. Three hundred and twenty-five par. So that's seventy-five par difference over an area of man, maybe eight inches. You know, and I have both of these lights beaming down on there. It's pretty cool to know. Let's uh, let's see what some of my actual coral readings are here. This milli sitting at 235 par. My Miyagi Tort, 220 par. We'll just go, let's say the center of my, my hammer garden here. About 95 par. Frog spawns are getting about 105 power. I did push this torch back into the shade here a little bit. Let's see what he's picking up way underneath here. Wow, that's really low. He's getting about 35 power. Maybe I need to pull him back out. This Fabio right here is picking up about 118 power. My kryptonite candy cane. This little wand here, they sell that too. It's pretty trick, comes in nice and handy. Better than rubber banding it to a piece of PVC. 125 par. My Zoa's down in the sand bed. About 140 par. My Duncan's. About 104 par. My little Ophelia over in the corner here, picking up about 75 par. Let's see what these actors over here are getting. One ninety-five. Pretty cool little little tool to have. Not necessary, not mandatory, but very cool to have. Let's see what my Hawking's Economic is getting here. About 152 par. Um, I don't know exactly how accurate these are. I know they make these the, these par meters now for actual LEDs. This just has the factory setting. I just got off the, the phone with the guy from Biotech and I was talking to him about it. And it's just on the factory setting. So, I mean, give or take, I don't know, 10, 15%, maybe, somewhere right around there. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will. But other than that, that's the uh, the power readings on my tank for now. I am going to bump up my blues after I get the tank maybe like about 70% stocked. I'm going to get my power up at the top of all these arches where all my acros are going to be. Probably rate the low to mid 300s. A 325 is probably what I think would be about optimal. From then on what I'll do is when I get more acros I'll just put them in the sand bed and then raise them up every week or so every two weeks to acclimate them but as for now I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna acclimate the whole tank at once and raise the lights up there you have it there's some power readings on Mofro's Reef keep it clean I'll catch you on the next one peace